Okay, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to set up an ATM trader. It doesn't matter if your ATM trader is exactly like this. They're all basically the same to set up. The first thing you want to do is get your ATM trader in the spot you want it. Now that it's in the spot you want it and disconnected from the vehicle, you lower the nose of the ATM trader. Then we'll go around and on the back of the ATM trader, there are jacks. You basically pull this jack forward, let it fall into place, and kick it with your foot right there until it gets to the ground. And do the same thing on the other side. What this is going to do is this is going to level the ATM trader once we raise the front end up. Rolling it back up like you're going to put it onto your vehicle. Sorry about the background noise. We're setting this up at an event as we speak. So I uh, just wanted to be able to give you the basics of how to set it up. As you can see, it's not level, quite level yet. So we'll keep rolling it until it looks level. Or you're satisfied with where it is. This particular trailer is probably going to have the wheels off the ground. Once we're finished, but it's still ADA compliant. As you can see, that wheel didn't come off the ground, so it's not quite as high as I thought it was going to be. The next thing we want to do is open the rear doors of your trailer. And then there are loops on the back to pin the trailer doors back. And as you can see now, you can see 360 degrees around this trailer. You can see the graphics describing it as an ATM trailer. This ATM trailer is, is ADA compliant. It looks like it's a few more inches higher than they normally are, but I think it's still going to be ADA compliant and we'll be fine. The next thing we want to do is we want to set up the flag which goes into the flag holder which is always on this door on the right hand side of the trailer. This particular trailer, the door to access the inside of the ATM trailer is in the front. And we will open this up and we'll get the flag pulled and put it together. This is the first time this ATM trailer is being used. It's brand new. So we're gonna, you'll have to take the plastic off of your holes the first time. And the way you want to set this up, if you can come in close here, there are little dots around. And what you want to do is those go to the top. So the next one won't go past the dot, okay? This particular place we're at does have an overhead power line. You always want to watch for those. We're not going to have any problems with that here. Two, yeah, hey, hey, one, two, two. Because uh, of where we've got the trailer sitting, we, we made sure to set the trailer where, where the power lines would not be an obstacle for us. You don't want to get into the power lines for sure. The curved, the two, curved one, pole two. goes on top. Once you get all the poles together, that makes this a 16 foot pole. Two, two, one, two, yeah. hey, one, two, then we take one, the flag and we put the flag on the pole. Two, hey, yeah. And it just, basically there's a one end of the flag is open. And you just loop it onto the pole just like any two, other, one, hey, yeah. other flag two, like hey, this that you one, may have used two, in yeah. the past. Two, yeah, hey, one, two. This pole has this uh, elastic band that we'll use to hold it to the to the door when we put it on the door. As you can see, it goes right into the hole. If it's a windy day, get some help because when it's a windy day, it's really 
<laughs> really uh, hard to do sometimes yeah, hey. by yourself. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go inside the trailer and show you how to operate the onboard power for this uh, particular trailer. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this plug that's plugged into the shore power outlets. We're going to plug it into the uh, inverter and turn the inverter on. What this is doing right now is it's turned on the inside light and it's booting up the modem and the ATM. Since we're going to be using this, we're going to go, there is a, an outlet in the floor over here. I don't think you can see it, but we'll just drop the end of the power for the solar panel down through there. That way we can hook to it when we get outside. Now, the next step is to take the solar panel, careful, solar panel outside. The manufacturer of the solar panel recommends that you leave a dark cloth on the solar panel until you're ready to use it. So we usually send it with a towel we bought at Walmart uh, for that purpose. And basically we just take it and it hooks into the pole on the left hand door. Now, we want to leave the dark cloth on for a few minutes until we get it plugged in. In this particular area, everybody thinks you have to point a solar panel at the sun. You don't have to. The sun's shining all over. So, In this particular instance, it just happens to be pointed that way because it's about noon here, a little afternoon. And this cord that comes from the solar panel goes down under the trailer. And we'll plug into the into the plug that we dropped down below. Now from the background noise you can tell that people in Florida can't count very high. So we take this off. You want to take this off once? Once the solar panel is hooked up to the regulator inside, then you can take your dark cloth off. Now it is trickle charging the batteries that are inside. And it was to store this inside. And if we go around to the front, we'll see that basically. This ATM trailer says get cash. It's ready to go. This ATM trailer is set up and ready to go. That's how you set up the ATM trailer.